Hey everyone, Tim with Collect Jurassic here with another news update about upcoming Mattel Jurassic World toys. We're talking about Hammond Collection and basically what's going to be coming out for the later half of 2023. We already basically know almost every figure with the exception of a big one, and I mean a literal big one, but we'll save that for another video while we go over some of the smaller and medium sized figures due out for the ultra articulated, ultra detailed Jurassic collectible line from Mattel, which is Hammond Collection. So let's jump right in to the first release uh, maybe familiar from the legacy collection line but hitting the Hammond collection now is the baby stegosaurus from Lost World full of all that added articulation that Hammond collection comes with um, this one's a little bit odd looking at least in these initial photos um, the that um, articulated beak is probably what's doing it for me I'm sure once we get that beak closed in the figure in hand, it'll look a little more normal, but it looks kind of like a duck dinosaur right now. But you can see that in these close-up photos, we do have some really nice detail in here on the eyes. The plates on the back of the Stegosaurus also have some um, kind of different coloration on there too. And he's got his little chonky body type. You know, he's a baby dinosaur, right, um, from Lost World. So um, I'm anxious to see this one in hand again because I'm just not super impressed with these initial promotional photos, at least as far as a improvement over the Legacy Collection figure Mattel already gave us in that Sarah Harding pack, right? That was a great figure and uh, looked just like the one from the movie. Um, this one has a lot, certainly has a lot more articulation, right? But remains to be seen of, uh, you know, how much better or how much more it, um, you know, looks like its movie counterpart. But it does have, um, you know, uh, a, a decent kind of size to it anyway so um, definitely going to be a substantial toy with those added um, posing opportunities built in switching gears to humans we have dennis nedry joining hammond collections human roster continuing to add you know more characters from that first jurassic park film um, i'm really excited about nedry here because he does come with an op opening barbasol canister um, that actually you know you can see the embryos inside he also comes with the stick you know how could you do nedry without the stick which definitely matches his sort of um you know outfit he has here he does have the iconic jurassic park rain slick on from this from his scene where he meets his demise with the dilophosaurus um, speaking of which he comes with an alternate head that allows you to swap in some um, kind of venom, venom-soaked uh, eyelids and a little bit on his chin too. So um, that's kind of fun. Uh, it looks like he's in pain, right? But uh, one of those swapping heads that some of the Hammond Collection figures do come with. Muldoon comes to mind um, for sure, as well as Alan Grant. So along with this stick and his extra head, I think that's about it for all of his accessories. Oh, and that cryo can, right? Um, again, I'm really excited about that because the previous version of of, um, Nedry we've gotten for Legacy Collection, I'm thinking of the uh, Comic-Con exclusive, uh, came with the crowd cam, but you could not open it. So definitely a nice little added benefit of this figure. We did already have a stick, but I guess I'll take um, another stick, a Hammond Collection stick, right? Um, moving on to another small dinosaur figure, we have again from the Lost World Jurassic Park, the uh, baby T-Rex. And this looks like a great improvement over some of the toys we've already gotten. Almost like a better shrunk down version of the Amber Collection T-Rex. Certainly better than the core 3.75 inch figures that we've gotten. Um, I really like the detail in the, here on the head. We have those little simple neck joints that'll be fun to play with. Looks like he comes with a muzzle as well as the um, leg cast for the leg that he has broken um, in the movie. So a lot of, um, again, sort of like a shrunk down version of that Amber Collection figure, which I'm totally okay with because that was you know, it was more or less a great figure. Colors were a little odd, but it looks like they've fixed that here. And again, having that, um, you know, added articulation that scales with the three and three quarters size is really exciting to me. I mean, look at this this particular silhouette here. It looks like they really got the proportions right. It definitely feels like the juvenile T-Rex. I'm anxious to see if one of the human characters can hold it or if it's going to feel a little bit too large. We'll just have to wait and see until we get it in hand. But um, clever of them to include a couple extra accessories too. This is... Um, you know, Hammond collection after all, but paint wise looks really great. And of course we know the articulation will be um, nice as well. Um, that leads us to our uh, last human figure will be coming in this video that I'm very excited to 
to, to finally collect with some ad articulation. The father of Jurassic Park, uh, John Parker Hammond, uh, with the uh, Amber Kane as well. Um, I mean, this was one of the better Amber Collection figures, so um, this cracks me up too. Uh, he comes with ice cream. Never would I have guessed that that's what they would include for his bonus accessories, but here it is. Uh, he's got a somber hatless face swap too he can do. Comes with the ice cream scoop and the ice cream from the scene where he's talking with Ellie. I love it. What a strange throwback. Um, but yeah, he's got the head that you can swap on with the hat where he's looking a little more pleasant. Um, lots of really nice detail here. Rings on his fingers. A nice um, detailed watch. I mean, this was, again, a fabulous Amber Collection figure. So bringing it down to the Hammond, uh, the Amber, the six inch, bringing it down to the three, three quarter for Hammond Collection. Um, that's awesome. One of my favorite Amber Collection figures. So it's going to be even better in the smaller scale where it can scale with all the other ex excellent toys we have at this scale. You can see the Amber Cane, um, little detail of the mosquito there. But yeah, here's the whole breakdown. You get the ice cream, you get the cane, you get the hands, uh, hand swaps as well, probably to hold that ice cream scoop, and then that sad Hammond ice cream face. So um, what a cool pack. Both of those humans, pretty excited to collect. Moving on to the medium size figures, we have the Irritator here. Kind of an odd addition to the Hammond collection, right? Uh, as far as I know, Irritator is not in any, you know, even in like extended canon it's never been in Jurassic as far as like a movie or you know a book or anything like that or like on a computer screen somewhere but man this figure looks awesome so who really cares right um, I mean the, the paint colorations like the darkness around the snout and the mouth right here that we're seeing is so cool I love the striations throughout the body I mean it's just a, a awesome awesome figure so I can't really like, kind of like concavenator it's like I can't really complain that it's not something I can compare directly to a movie though that one at least was sort of in the movie, but I mean, they do such a great job bringing these new species to life and kind of giving them, you know, like a Jurassic feel. I mean, look at this thing. It looks gorgeous. I love how thin it is too. And it's noticeably different than the irritator figures we're getting in the mainline too, which I think is, you know, kind of remarkable that they didn't just take that and add articulation, but they really started, um, you know, from the ground up a little bit of tail fluke action too. I think this animal maybe might be semi-aquatic. I don't know, but I have heard that the coloration is inspired by Jurassic Park Builder, an old Game Boy Jurassic Park 3 game that I loved. So, extra points there if that is indeed true and we're going to round this one off with the box shot where you can see they really did in this final form of the figure um they really did highlight the mouth with that darker color which i love that kind of boost of contrast and, and sort of like uh you know extra menacing layer to the face right there so uh, next up is an even more exciting figure in my book metricanthosaurus now this one was sort of on the fringes of being included in jurassic park one i think there was uh, embryos and I know that it was uh, there may be some signage too so technically never on screen but um, certainly maybe off screen in Jurassic Park and this figure again um, for them not having really anything to base it off of from the movie it looks incredible it almost looks like a desert carnivore I, I love the darker head on the color here the the red it looks just amazing and again um they didn't take like the core figure and kind of add articulation because let me tell you the metricanthosaurus that we have from mattel so far isn't one of their prettiest figures so they totally rebuilt this one from the ground up for Hammond Collection, and I'm just in love with it. I love all that, the added paint details. I love the new face silhouette. It just looks really, really cool. It looks very naturalistic, you know, cause maybe based off some real world animal. I mean, I love the, the little splotches of paint on the tail. And look how the stripes change directions, too. I mean, I just think they really put a lot into the paint of this one. It just looks incredible in addition to having a really cool looking kind of like skull profile too. So Metricanthosaurus, definitely high on my list of, you know, what I am excited about in this next wave of um, Hammond Collection figures. And here it is in the box, um, looking uh, just as brilliant with um, those really unique pattern decos going out throughout the body. So um, I'm, I want to see what movie logo they put on this one, see what movie it's from. You can't see in these box shots, but very excited to get Metricanthosaurus. And then we have Corythiosaurus. Definitely this one is some something that fans have been asking for basically forever. Um, probably one of the last 
on-screen um, dinosaurs we've never gotten a toy of, and that's the Corythiosaurus from Jurassic Park 3. And we're finally getting it, and it looks basically 100% screen accurate. It even has the Parasaurial office body um, from the toy, which in the movie it had the Parasaurial office body from, like, the model. So... Um, you know, kind of a smart reuse of uh, toy parts there that actually makes sense with the design we see in the movie. Then the colors themselves totally nail it. I mean, um, it looks like they definitely referenced what was on screen, some of those uh, concept art pieces, and really match this one to one. Um, so, Corythiosaur, one of those herd dinosaurs we see in Jurassic Park 3, finally getting the toy it deserves. And not just a Coraline toy, but a Hammond Collection toy. So, you know, you're going to be able to do all these cool poses with it, too, which is really, really exciting. Um, and again, something fans have been asking about for so long. I mean, I wasn't missing it, um, you know, but uh, definitely it was a. Uh, you know, it was definitely kind of um, one of the last species to get a toy. So in that regard, I'm ha I'm glad we're, you know, finally getting it. Um, and, and we're getting it in the Hammond Collection, which is even better because these premium figures, as you've seen, have tons of paint detail. Obviously, we have their articulation, too, that just make them really, really, you know, um, kind of deluxe in, in all in all ways. So Hammond Collection, a lot of really cool stuff coming out. Um and, uh, you know, these these three figures, um, medium-sized figures and those smaller figures are really just around the corner. And, I mean, with Hammond Collection in 2023, um, that might be everything we know about. But there's definitely a bigger figure on the horizon. If you haven't heard, it's that uh, Hammond Collection Brachiosaurus. And, no, I'm not making that up. That is a real figure. So, hopefully, we'll be covering that um, here on the Collect Jurassic News Update videos here pretty soon. I hope so, anyway. Um, but these figures that we got to look at today are definitely some really exciting stuff especially that metricanthosaurus can't wait to grab that but i think that's all i got to talk for this news update but if you enjoyed this video i would ask you to subscribe um, but uh again i'm tim with click jurassic thanks for watching and i'll see you next time